morning, y'all. I'm attempting to make my own acai bowl. So let's see how this goes. Ooh. Okay. I think I'm doing it right. Is there a right way to do it? Okay, I think I did it. <laughs> I ain't mad at it at all. I just used strawberries, the acai mix, and some cranberry pineapple juice and a little honey. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. Look at this. For a healthier liquid alternative, you can use coconut water instead of, you know, the juice I used. <laughs> but look, like granola, got some chocolate chips, strawberry, kiwi, and then an acai base. Are you serious? I should have been making these. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm about to go eat. The morning is mine, baby, okay? I messed up yesterday and I got on my phone in the morning, so I gotta read two chapters out of this before I hop back on my phone again and start the day. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll see y'all in a little bit. And then I'm gonna watch Lion King afterwards, the second one. I'ma tell y'all one more time. Nah, I'ma keep telling y'all though. Wake up and read a chapter out of a self-help book or a motivational book. This is my current favorite. And it'll change your whole day. Like, trust me, you want to hop on TikTok as soon as you wake up? Mm -mm. Nope, I'm telling you. You'll read this, read something that'll really get your heart going. It is the calling of each man and woman who draws breath to have a grand vision for our lives. And two, each day claim the vastness of that vision. You wake up reading like that, baby. Your day good, okay? <laughs> Gotta start off with the right start, okay? I'm finally getting it. I was getting it already, but I'm getting deeper into it. And it feels good taking care of yourself. I will always be a reader and writer at heart. Stories are my safe space. I'm telling y'all, start your morning with a book. Like that is my life changing advice for myself and for others. Do not pick up your phone. You can check your text message real quick to make sure everybody's okay and make sure they all right. But like, don't go hop on social media, go read a chapter. And trust me, I bet you, you start reading again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to finish these two because I owe one for yesterday. But my goal is not to owe anything. I want to do it every morning if I can. And consequently, I might actually get inspired to write. Social media definitely shook up the entire structure of our world. Show did. Also, this gets you in a good mindset to start the day, okay? Like, actually being pumped enough to, you know, your brain is the control center. So you want to make sure you're feeding it all the beautiful, brilliant stuff you can. And books will do that for you. Books do that. So, yeah, get to reading and then get to scrolling. Or you might not even want to go scroll after you read something motivational. It's hard to scroll on social media aimlessly when, you know, you already started the day with some type of purpose. And don't get me wrong, I'm gonna always scroll on social media. I'm just saying be more selective about how much you do it and when you do it and how much of your day you give to doing it. These days I'm a content creator and I barely be on Instagram. Like I be on it, but I don't, if that makes sense. So yeah, just trying to reclaim my day back, like the real day. Also to my cam models, reading on cam is another option. And also you can read like erotica as well. Okay, but just reading in general, especially if you got the voice. Baby, that's an option. That's another thing you could do to keep busy. The day is meant to be ours, and our purpose within is to live as we truly are and enjoy the full terrain of life's freedom as we chase our own meaning and purpose, our own legacy. We can hunt our dreams with a fierceness unimagined by those creatures trapped in the wastelands of stress and sorrow. And then some lingerie? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> but yeah, I am really going to start my day like this because I miss reading. Like... It's been rekindled. My love for reading has been rekindled. <sighs> What's up, y'all? I realized I, I missed the opportunity. <laughs> so I will casually talk about camming because I am a cam girl. But I realized I should have started a separate series called Cam Girl Chronicles and put it in like the Street Smart segment or series or whatever. But... You know what, at the end of the day, my life is my life and it all is in a way cohesive and how I get by and do what I need to do. But it is all my life and whatever I'm doing to get by and go where I wanna go in life, you know, it all comes together. So y'all can know everything about me. But yeah, anyways, I'll talk to y'all. Y'all, I'm not sure why some people think being pushy is gonna get your way. Like I, mm, I wish I could go back and talk to younger me 
to start setting firmer boundaries earlier. So tell me what I'm working, right? So far, a decent morning, made a couple sales, did a couple tips or whatever. Hey, y'all, what's up? <laughs> so I have a member ask if I, this is actually a really cute concept. Anyways, I had a member ask, can I watch him? I was like, yeah, go ahead, send the video. So next thing you know, he called me twice. I was like, no, 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 I thought you meant send the video. And you can send as much as you want, but I don't do unpaid calls. Like I'm straight up, I don't do unpaid phone calls or video calls. That's my time, baby. And if I did that, you know how, like, no, for what? For $25? No, no. Even if you're a member, it's still an additional charge to video call. So anyways, he did the same thing my ex has been doing to me. And I'm so tired of people trying to manipulate their way into getting what they want. It's not attractive to me. He was like, please, I just, I need you to watch me. You don't need me to watch you. All my free porn all the free porn in existence the content i've already done sent you don't need my eyes on you at this very second i'm working i'm live right now he was like i promise i'll send the money later i promise i'll send the money y'all if you don't know do not accept no money after money up front if it's not in your account before you do something do not do it do not do it it's a scam it's called a scam He's like, you know my situation. I'm in a country where I can't send right now. This and the third. And maybe he was being honest. He's like, I'll send extra later. Some people will honor their word, but this is not the place to play with that. It's not. So I told him, I was like, if I leave my work to come watch you, he's like, for 20 seconds. It won't even be 20 seconds. Just watch me. You don't got to do nothing. You going to pay me for that, really? You going to pay extra for that? And I'm not even trying to be rude or personally come for anybody, but it's like people have gotten scammed like that. I've had people, they'll get on a call with me where they dick out talking about something. I'll send it later, please, baby. No, I need it now. I'll send it later. After you nuts, you're not sending shit to me. <laughs> so I'm not saying for this person specifically. I'm saying in general, I don't play with my pay. I don't. He was like, it wouldn't have took nothing but 20 seconds. I'm having a real bad day. I was like, yeah, me too. I'm having a bad day. I don't even got money to eat right now. I shouldn't have said that because I wasn't true. But I just had myself a nice last night, Ebo. But I was just being dramatic since we was being dramatic. I was like, I don't even got money to eat right now. I'm having a bad day too. Everybody's having a bad day. You having such a bad day, but you mad because I don't want to watch you on live play with your dick for free. Nope, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. There are bigger problems in the world, baby. He was like, it wouldn't have taken but 20 seconds. That's 20 seconds I don't want to give you. I'm tired of people volunteering my time. <laughs> like I am. My ex already got me triggered. Please don't do this. I've been nothing but generous. Don't. Don't. Because then when this side comes out, it's, oh my gosh. Whoa. Why is she acting like that? Who does she think she is? But look at what you're doing. Like, that's not fair. That's like me being like, please pay me. I'll send your welcome package later, later. You'll get it later. You'd be like, no, I want to I join now. I should get it now. Okay, vice versa, baby. It's the same thing. He was like, I can't believe I can't stand this type of manipulative behavior. I can't believe you don't trust the person I am. I'm like, I technically don't know you. For real, for real. We're being honest. I don't know you. You're a stranger. Okay, sir. We've talked a little bit, but that's it. Second of all. Uh, sir i just said i'm hypothetically starving which i shouldn't have said because it wasn't true but you over here worry about your nut i'm talking about something i'm hungry i was like i need to get money for lunch so i should be live working if i take my time away from working i help you for free what does that get me he's like 20 seconds out your day you couldn't even give that he's like you don't trust me as a person i was like i'm too hungry to trust right now <laughs> Yo, I promise, I promise, I promise you, I am so grateful and so in love with my supporters, but there are a select few that be stressing me. They be stressing me. I told one yesterday, because he hits me up constantly, no tips, no incentive, just wants to talk all the time. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, grand rising, all of that. Wants to talk constantly, and I'm not going to be like, please stop talking to me. Like, because sometimes people don't have anybody, so I'm trying to be respectful of that. But I told him, I was like, I just need a break right now from my mental health, which I do. I really do. That was the honest truth. And I was like, I just need a break from talking and a lot of stuff right now. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to come back to you real soon. Not even 24 hours later. Hey, baby. Good morning. How'd you sleep? I was like, y'all got to set some better boundaries and y'all got to start respecting mine. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say real quick. <laughs> I'm about to play Animal Crossing and watch Lion King. So, yeah, I'm chilling. But whew, lately, I don't even know if I want to keep camming for real, for real. But I really do wish I started the Cam Girl Chronicles because I got so many stories to tell y'all. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But like, I don't want to sit here and give camming this much power either. Like, it's a powerful part of my life, but it's not all my life. So... 
I don't know. I'm going to just tell y'all little snippets here and there in the vlogs. And when I decide to go do something else, that'll be that. But yeah. <laughs> Once again, I mean no harm, but y'all got to stop treating women like this. Like being pushy and try to do a power move of establishing dominance is just really cruel and it's bully behavior sometimes. And it's also psychological warfare. And that's not going to make me like you anymore. That's all I'm saying. It's going to make me actually feel some type of way towards you and not want to be around you or put myself around you. Wow, that's so crazy. Not me about to do a whole SPH private show. Now, what if I would have logged off and then went to go do that task just for 20 seconds for free? For free. That's what I'm saying. Your time is valuable. You don't have to like utilize every single second of it and make it special, but just don't give it to the wrong places or people if they're not making it worth your while. My ex said the same thing. He's like, since your time is so important, I was like, yes, best believe I'm busy. And you don't have to believe it, but I know it. Y'all about to go do a whole show. Not even like five minutes later, I kid you not. Look at the universe. All right, he just sent the password to his room. Let me go shame this man who would like to be shamed per request. He said to make sure I laugh at him. I got you, love.